All right, peeps. Good afternoon, Jim Stegg, The Awakening. What I'm going to introduce to you, and this is going to be to The Awakening website also, to The Awakening Facebook page, is The Awakening Wolfpack 100-Day Challenge. And I'm going to teach you how to keep score. And all the guys in our Voxer page, this is directly to you guys. Now, I'm going to announce this to, a, to The Awakening Facebook page. However, those people that want to participate in this, I'm going to take them along with yourselves into another Facebook page so we can communicate, we can get back and forth, and we can kind of get more people interested in what exactly we're doing. First of all, I'm going to show you how to keep score. I'm going to show you how to keep score with your daily, daily Sacred Six score. So we all know what the Sacred Six is. Purpose, power, passion, peace, prosperity, and preservation. So number one, your purpose, that's your workout. Workout of the day. The minimum amount, we're going to put some rules to this. Number one's going to be integrity, making sure that we operate inside of integrity. We want to make sure that everyone is being honest. If you don't work out, you don't get a point for it. So... 20 minutes minimum, 20 minutes a day minimum, seven days a week will give you a certain amount of points and we'll go through that at the end of the week. And what we're, what we're striving to do is to get to 600 points as fast as we possibly can to see how consistent we can be. So I'm throwing this challenge out to all of us in the awakening number one, awakening number two, just to spur us, to keep us motivated, to rock and roll, to get everybody involved, to count on our brothers and our sisters that may be coming in, and uh, just to help each other through this. Because I know you guys, after leaving, and including myself, I mean, that's why I came up with this, it's, uh, it's life-changing. If you administer this on a daily basis, and you hold yourself accountable, and we as a group hold each other accountable, it works. And I know awakening number one and awakening number two, you guys are on fire and you know exactly how this works and how your body and your mind and your spirit and your emotions start to transform. So purpose, number one, your workout. Minimum of 20 minutes a day, including Sunday, seven days a week, remember. This is a 100-day challenge where we're trying to get 600 points as fast as we can get it. Purpose, work out 20 minutes a day. You have to work out 20 minutes a day. If you want to work out an hour, you're good to go. If you want to work out 25 minutes, whatever, but it has to be a minimum of 20 minutes a day. Power, when you're done with that workout, where do you get your power from? It's your breath work. So our power is breath work. If you work out, one point. Breath work. You have to do a minimum of three rounds. You can do 30, you can do 40 breaths, whatever you want to do, but you have to do a minimum of three rounds. I know we all do four rounds. A lot of us do four rounds. You have to do a minimum of three rounds after your workout. If you do that, three rounds, minimum, you get another point. Passion. After our breath work, we drop into meditation. And you can, you can meditate for as minimal as 10 minutes. I don't know what you guys do, but I know I'm doing anywhere between 15 to 20 mostly 20. It's really consistent depending upon what I have every day. If you do your meditation, one point. After that, it's your cold water treatment. Peace. Obviously, we know we bring our body back down. We kind of lock into our peaceful moment. We jump into cold water. So this is our cold water immersion. Now, you don't have to have a freezer. You don't have to have it set at 30, 33 degrees. 
You don't have to be sitting with ice chunks on you. We will count a cold shower, but it has to be done in the sequence every single day. Now, we can mix it up, but I'm giving you this as an example of how this works, the Sacred Six works, in a sequence. You bring your stress level up, you bring your cortisol level up, and then you drop it down by all these things set up as dominoes as they start to fall. You can do a five minute shower, you can do a two minute shower, but you have to go for two minutes. You have to go two minutes. And you can bring it down for those of you who are not doing cold showers, and this is not necessarily for the awakening group number one, awakening group wolf pack number two. Um, this is for the outsiders that want to get involved in this. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, cold showers. Just turn it down to, its, to, to make sure that it's uncomfortable. If you want to start out with 10 seconds, great. You want to start out with 20 seconds, great. As you go, I want you to build and work your way up to two minutes. And then as you build for the 100 days, work your way up to five minutes. Now, you don't have to have it all the way down on ice. You can actually just get it to where you're uncomfortable. They say that anything below 60 degrees has the same benefits as 33 degrees. So a minimum of one shower a day or an ice bath for the newbies starting off at, at 10 seconds, great. The next shower, 15 seconds. The next shower, 20 seconds. The next shower, 25 seconds. Add five seconds as you go. For the awakening guys, for the awakening number one wolf pack and awakening number two wolf pack, you guys are two minutes. You have to go for two minutes minimum, no matter what ice bath, and you can set your temperature whatever you want it at. So, newbies, 10 seconds and build. Seasoned veterans, two minutes, okay? After that is prosperity. That's what we eat, our diet. Changing our diet, changing what we eat. We wanna make sure that we are eating all foods from the earth and nothing prosper or nothing processed. So make sure, like I said, operate with integrity. Operate with integrity. I'm gonna say that one more time. Operate with integrity. Make sure that you get rid of all the processed stuff in the cupboard or in the pantry. Get rid of it and only eat natural foods. Fruits and vegetables, Minimize your meat, eat a lot of fish, but don't eat any high glycemic carbohydrates, pasta, tortillas, things like that that are going to raise your insulin level and slow you down. Focus on fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds for snacks. You want to have a Cliff Bar once in a while? Have at it, but focus on that and you have to live with integrity with this. So. Prosperity is your diet, making sure that you are eating only foods from the earth. Stay to the outside of the grocery store, anything on the middle aisles, it's not good for you. The majority of that, except for the olive oils, but the majority of that is processed foods. Chips, baggage, uh, canned stuff, it's not good for you. So your diet, only foods, from the earth. Only foods from the earth. <clears throat> you do that, one point. Cold water immersion, one point. Preservation. You need to start on a fasting regimen. If you eat breakfast at five o'clock in the morning, push it out. Minimize your eating window. If you are confused about it, and you want to talk to me personally about it and how we can minimize your eating window, you have to start fasting. The science behind fasting will reverse your aging process, 
will take care of diabetes, will fight off cancer, will make your head extremely clear. So if you're confused about it, I do an 18-6 every day. 18-6 is I don't eat till two o'clock in the afternoon and I stop eating at eight o'clock in the night. That's every day except for Sunday. Now, with the Wolfpack, Awakening Wolfpack 100 Day Challenge, I will be fasting on Sunday and I won't eat till two o'clock. So, two o'clock in the afternoon, I don't eat anything. I drink coffee, I'll have a kombucha for my gut health, but what I do is I don't eat solid foods and I only bring in a couple calories. It might be a little bit of creamer in the coffee. It might be a uh, bulletproof coffee. It might be a kombucha, but I don't overindulge with that. What I do is I push it. I don't eat till two o'clock and I stop eating at eight o'clock. And my eating window is six hours. I fast for 18. Make it simple, shrink your eating window. I had a good buddy of mine call me up got some foggy brain issues, can't lose weight, changed his diet, stopped, got rid of all the sugar. And I told him, when do you eat breakfast? I asked him, when do you eat breakfast? He said, five o'clock in the morning. Boost it up till 10 o'clock. Don't eat till 10. And then if you're going to eat lunch at say 12 or one o'clock, at 10 o'clock in the morning, bring some nuts, some seeds, some pecans, some walnuts, some macadamia nuts, bring them with you, snack on those. that will hold you off until whenever you eat lunch. He took his... He took his breakfast in the morning from five o'clock and he bumped it automatically. Bam, bumped it up to 9.30 and then the following week he bumped it up to 10 o'clock. He lost 10 pounds, two weeks, two belt loop sizes just by making the decision. So, fasting, you have to fast on a daily basis. And don't, you don't, it's going to be a mind game. You don't have to freak out about it. Just do a little bit at a time. If you're eating breakfast at six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning, don't eat your breakfast and push it out till 10 o'clock or nine o'clock, a little bit at a time, little baby steps and take some nuts, uh, macadamia nuts, walnuts, almonds, stuff that doesn't, it's not, that's not glazed, that they don't have sugar on it the natural nuts and seeds that you get from the store. You fast every day, you get one point. So you do your workout, 20 minutes minimum, one point every day. Power, do your breath work. Three rounds, one minute. If you're confused about the breath work, reach out to me and I will teach you how to do the breath work. You do that, you get one point. Passion, meditation. Drop yourself down a minimum of 10 minutes you do that, you get one point. Peace, cold water immersion. 10 second shower, build it up. If you start at 10 seconds, the next day, get it up to five, get it up another five seconds, get it up to 15 seconds, and so on. My season, guys, two minutes minimum. If you have a freezer, two minutes minimum. Prosperity, diet. You have to eat only foods from the earth one point and be honest with yourself preservation fasting this will extend your life you when i started doing research on fasting i could not believe the health benefits that were involved with this and what it actually does for your body how it lengthens your years on the back end how it actually improves your gut health how it actually improves your mind and because your, your body is like, oh man, I gotta eat. It's a mind game. Once you think you have to eat, just drink water. And I have a concoction that I can provide to you that sometimes when I do my long fasts, which I haven't done them in a while because I'm very consistent with my 18-6, it's called snake juice. If you want, the, you want the recipe, just call me or reach out to one of us. Torsten does it all the time. Josh Wells is starting to do it now, and a lot of the guys in the Awakening 1 and 2 are doing it also. So, fasting, little baby steps. Stop, you know, push it up to 10 o'clock in the morning or whatever it is, but shrink your eating window. Stop eating at 6 at night or whatever is good for you. Shrink that eating window. If it's, if it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 
back it off. Get rid of your breakfast, because it's really, they say, society says breakfast is the best meal of the day. It's actually the worst. It's not good for you because it charges your insulin level because we're feeding ourselves with the cereal, the stuff that has sugar in it. Your insulin level spikes and drags you down, makes you lethargic. So fasting, one point. If you do this on a daily basis, your total score will be six points a day. At the end of the week, we will post on the Awakening private page for all the people who are going to participate in this, we are gonna post what our points were at the end of the week. I haven't decided what day that's gonna be. We're just getting ready to launch this. So I just wanted to invite people in, people who are interested, and what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture as we start this, and I will announce the date here in a couple of days. As we start this, I want you to take your shirt off. Women, you can leave your shirt on if you'd like. Take a picture of what you look like in the mirror. And then after 100 days, I want another picture to see exactly what you look like. What kind of transformation that you actually, that actually took place both mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, and especially up top. Okay, that's it. I made it as simple as possible. We don't need to get too crazy with this. It doesn't, we don't have to be all over the board. Well, what's the temperature got to, don't, I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is for you to take one step and move forward. Start making a change in your life that'll actually extend your life. Okay, that is it. If you have questions, you have comments, let me know. I'm gonna be posting this on the Facebook, Facebook page the Awakening Facebook page. And if you are interested in participating in the Awakening Wolfpack 100-day challenge to grasp on to 600 points as fast as you can, I want you to raise your hand. I want you to reach out to me. Send me a message. I'm going to take all the people who want to get involved, who want to make a change in their life for the better, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, I'm going to take you and we're going to grab all of ourselves and move ourselves to another Awakening private page for the Awakening Wolfpack 100 Day Challenge. And that's the name of the Facebook page. So I'll announce this. If you're interested, raise your hand, let me know. I know the Wolfpack guys, Wolfpack number one, Wolfpack number two, you guys are all in. You guys are on fire as it is. I mean, we've got guys losing 46 pounds. We got guys chiseling up and, and chiseling up, not necessarily only in their body, but also in their mind. And actually, this is where it starts. Your health and the way your body looks is basically just a byproduct of what we do. All right, that's it. Good luck.